Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Arcade Paradise Overview. This video is gonna be such a roller coaster because at the end I don't think you'll even know if the actual game is good or not, so good luck with understanding all of that. But I mean, the project did it to itself with all the weird decisions and just you, you'll see. <laughs> so Arcade Paradise is an adventure management simulator game where the game is gonna take you on an empowering journey from rags to riches, putting you in the body of a rebel teenager that goes against the family's legacy and throw yourself in the retro arcade world of magic. First of all, I need to talk about this trailer because how I could not. It's essentially a cringy highlight reel from all the YouTubers that got an early access to I presume. I mean, it's very lazy and the reactions come across kind of fake. And it's not because I'm jealous or something, because I wouldn't do it either way. But it's just weird because it's one of the few or only project that put on the official store a clip solution like that. Concerning the project itself, you actually have to play a little bit in order to understand the dynamic and what's actually going on. At first it makes absolutely no sense, but then later on you realize it's some sort of a story fueled experience that makes it kind of a realistic approach. Visually it's okay, like nothing to really boast about. Not groundbreaking textures, but then you have a blend of retro pixels in between the interactions, also with them, they're very secluded and exact, like you don't necessarily have the full freedom of doing what you want. And then in the actual environment, you'll be spending most of your time in. There's some weird texture discrepancies that are kind of hard on the eyes. There was a very similar release to this, which was called Arcade Legends. That one was more like an actual management and strategy game. And while with the concept, they both could be comparable, Paradise goes for more story and kind of involvement in the actual thing. Still, it's not necessarily something for me. Those retro machines simulators are kind of a niche market that less and less people remember of those times. But it's a nice look back on how the world was before, where every bit of entertainment counted to your own reality. Let's discover the questionable paradise. The hell? MTV, nice. What is going on? Is this a story? A washing machine place. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the visuals, like, it's looking okay. Going for a more realistic approach. Some resolution problems at the distance, but. Quality-wise, it seems fine. Let me find this vignette thing. Oh, I appreciate that you can change the quality, like in the options. I think the first game to do that was 
Yeah, I'm not gonna remember that since we've had so many. But I don't know if anything changed. I guess this is the full power. <laughs> I wonder how far can we go? Well... <laughs> so inside? Jesus Christ! Hello Ashley, this is your father calling. Welcome at long last to the real world and real responsibility. <laughs> King Laundry was among my first investments in Grindstone. Not an important one. Honestly, I'd forgotten about the dump. But with shrewd management, perhaps even an ungrateful and capricious teenager like you can make it a success. Let's go over the basics one more time. Pay attention. First, take a basket of laundry and load it into an empty machine. Is this a washing machine simulator or am I playing the arcade one? <laughs> it seems like only some certain stuff are interactable. They will be probably later but it's just like little things. What is this even? Uh, and you can see through it? Yeah, because this is not the correct reflection. How do I load this? Pay attention to the basket color and the color of the laundry. You need to use the dial to set the appropriate cycle on the washing. I don't want you ruining any chef's whites by using the wrong program. This is a deluxe service, remember? How is it a deluxe? This should be a free range washing place that I've been actually in the States. <laughs> oh, but I don't like how the textures are flickering even from close up. Remember, time stood idle is time wasted. Maintenance and cleaning are your responsibility. Any trash, pick it up and dispose of it. There's a dumpster around the side of the building. I can't just put in this one and then take out everything. Can grab multiple things as well. Jesus, what a mess. <laughs> what the? Aha, uh -huh, I'm storing that inside me. It goes, you know where. Jesus, the interactions are so bad. At the end of the 
wash cycle, your watch will beep. It shows you all sorts of important info, like how much cash you're holding, or if you have any tasks. Just tap it to clear any messages. What do I do now? Give me more useless tasks. Excuse you. Customers use the colored baskets to pick delicate, cupboard dry, or ultra dry. So make sure to select the right setting. Try not to shrink anyone's undergarments. Well, I guess I did cat because then I'm safe. That's not gonna really get destroyed. Next, maybe attend to any other small jobs. Your reputation is your livelihood. Broken machines, scattered trash, or blocked toilets will lose customers. No one wants to come to a faulty, smelly laundrette. I don't get this game. I know that it's probably like a prelude to the actual thing, but for the review purposes, I'm seeing a dumpster fire essentially. <laughs> No reflection. I'm a vampire. Ew, what the? Blockage blowout! Disgusting. Ooh, that's kinky. System subjugated! Once the clothes are dry, take them out and place them ready for the customer to collect. This nowadays we are gaming, yo. Oh wow. <laughs> clean and don't cut corners look Ashley I know at your age garment sanitation hardly seems glamorous but nothing in life comes free for once for once show me you're capable and that you can be trusted otherwise well the best versed factory always needs fresh meat packers and make sure to keep the toilet clean I mean, if they'll give me so much money for that, then... Hell yeah. What do you mean, it's not a bug? Try converting the hex code on the error screens into text. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. The hell's happening here today? Mate, you're 19. You're nothing.
I mean, I wish I would see people that are actually washing clothes. <laughs> it would be more like realistic setting. And then argue with them. <laughs> Can I actually play the actual game? <laughs> I mean, this is very retro. Literally counting pixels. Oh, this is like GTA. But I just hear my controllers. There's nothing to do with actual mechanism. Ow. It's a Pac-Man. <laughs> Are the cops faster than me? How? <laughs> PS game. In what language did this? Are those even known? Like. Nothing that I would know of. I wish I'd be actually interacting with the real buttons and stuff, cause... What's the point then? Why there's so much money here? <laughs> My hand is blocking my vision. That's actually not a bad idea though. <laughs> huh. Business making. Wow, I mean, I've had this system. Oh, that's only one, two. Tomorrow morning. But again, who are the people?
So what do I do now? Do a summary. <laughs> I feel like the start was pretty rough because I had no idea what is it gonna become. But now it kind of makes sense. At least there's some kind of storyline like you start from not necessarily zero because you have a job which automatically means you're better in the society. <laughs> But the overall lead up to starting a small business in like a washing machine place, which is a genius idea. At the end, it ended up okay, but you need to like play a little bit of it to actually know what's going on. We'll take all money collection and then I just got a notification to uncollect the toilet. There are no people here, so. It makes it somewhat less realistic. I kinda wish there would be some random avatars just going through their life and then on a break playing games and then maybe even compete with each other. Like, that seems like a decent dynamic going on. In terms of the visuals, can I go outside? Oh, the day changes, okay. Like here it was okay, but then... Yeah, something's going on with the reflections, like... They are not accurate at all, it's just... Random... Pictures of... Nothing, really. When you look inside the washing machines, it's also not accurate. There's some texture flickering on the outer edges of like stuff here because the environment is consistent but those look like they're constantly moving in the headset overall the premise is fine obviously not something for me but i appreciate that there's like a story progression and point to it instead of being a boring as simulator sandbox